seriously, like you could ever invent a mobile game that would get people out into the real world to interact with it. Oh, wait. Nerve! It's basically Pokemon Go meets The Running Man. It's about a group of players for an online game and what happens when things maybe go a little bit too far. Is it a game worth watching for you? Here's five things you might want to know about Nerve. Ugh, I hate it when a movie wastes its potential. There's so much wasted potential here. Let's start with the good stuff and then we'll get to the reason it's wasted. Uh, first of all, I like this, this main pair. Dave Franco and Emma Roberts, I think is her name. They're really good here. I think they work well together. They're both decent enough actors, and I think in a different situation, their performances could have lent this a different kind of credibility that this movie does not have. But I enjoyed them, and I enjoyed them together, and I, I really want to see them both continue to do more things. But the part of this movie where it has the most potential that is wasted is in this concept. I really love this concept. There's a couple of reasons. Number one, it just feels like a real place that we could be headed to. You look at Pokemon Go, you look at people getting out into the real world and interacting with their phones in kind of a new augmented reality type way. This is where that could evolve to, excuse the Pokemon pun. Uh, this is where it could go. And you can see a game like this becoming a very real thing. I also love the concept of this because it plays with some of those themes. There are a lot of interesting things about privacy and what we want to allow, you know, ourselves to be involved with and what we want to watch. There's kind of the gladiator feel of it, you know. What are you willing to watch and do for entertainment? All those themes are here, which are great themes with a, you know, a very realistic premise that could almost be prescient. And then the movie just falls apart. And when I say falls apart, I mean falls apart. I really didn't like this movie and there's several reasons. Let's start here. Even though the game seems real, the technology behind it doesn't. The way they portray the interface and these screens, and it just does not seem like a real world. Now, I guess it could be set far enough in the future that weird things have changed, but they're doing so many visualization tricks, like coming through screens and putting uh, like markers in the sky for us, that it seems strange. Are those really in the real world game, or are they just for our visualizations? And like the... The people counters, like how many people are watching and the hearts that are going up, why do those change at different times? You know, is it just because your screen changed and you wanted it to have a different effect? Is the emotion of the scene different? So you wanted the actual software to be different that it's dealing with? It just, it does not do a good job of portraying a type of game or technology that feels like it exists in the real world. <laughs> And that consistency is important to me, not just in the visuals of how the game works, but also the mechanics of how the game works. Anytime you build kind of a, a sci-fi or new world in a movie, you have to establish the rules and then follow them. It gives us a comfortable place to exist and to understand what's going on because it's not something we're familiar with. This movie both forgets to establish some of the rules. So we're left wondering, how does this work again? How are they playing this game? How, what are the ins and outs of this? and also establishes some rules to the game that seem not to matter later on. And then towards the end, the entire thing changes. Like it becomes a completely different type of game and experience. And it just seemed weird to me that we could never get our footing into exactly what this nerve game is and what they're playing because it is the center of the plot. And if we don't feel comfortable understanding it, you're gonna get lost in the movie. <laughs> I'll just finish with this, and I actually kind of already uh, mentioned it. The end of this movie is really kind of ridiculous. Do you ever just feel like a movie just insults your intelligence? That's what the end of this movie felt like to me. And it did this thing that movies seem to want to do where it has twist ending after twist ending after twist ending. And whether you see them coming or not, if they don't fit with the plot of the movie and make sense then they're not a good thing. And there's more important things than having a twist. Having a story 
is one of them. And I don't feel like this movie was consistent enough with that story to earn what it wanted to do at the end. And so it just completely fell apart. Mm. Overall, Nerve has some decent acting and it is a wonderful concept, but unfortunately falls fall short of its potential. I give it a C minus. A rather generous C minus, in my opinion. Uh, all right, well, let's move on, shall we? Uh, before we get to the best ever challenge, uh, I do want to let you know some other stuff that's going on here at Your Movie Friend. If you want to click the info button up here, you can see other reviews that have happened, uh, as well as how to support the channel. Uh, you can also search for me on social media, Aaron Dicer, A-A-R-O-N-D-I-C-E-R. I'd love to chat with you there, have a two-way conversation instead of just a one-way conversation. Uh, search for the podcast if you do the podcast thing. It's called Sift Pop. S-I-F-T-P-O-P. Sift Pop is the podcast, and uh, we do that every Friday. Talk about the movie that's out this week, other pop culture. Uh, we talked about Comic-Con trailers, that kind of stuff in the latest edition. We have a great time doing that. All right, on to the best ever challenge where you name the best movie ever in a particular category and also try to identify my choice. What is the best ever trapped in a game movie? Now, you wouldn't think there'd be a lot of them, but when you really start to think about it, there actually are, and some actual good ones involve people trapped. There was a whole young adult novel series, not to give anything away, that was trapped in a game. So there's a lot out there. For me, though, my favorite one has to be the one whose poster had puzzle pieces on it. Is that too obscure? Maybe it's a hard one this week. Actually, you'll just do an image search, and you'll probably be fine. Uh, you can take a guess at mine in the comments. First person to get it right does get a point. And as always, here's five extra seconds to hit the subscribe logo. Just click it right down in this corner.